Prime Minister for her opening words about the horrific revelations this week. But can I say to her that three years ago, I brought evidence to her in this House that whips had used information about sexual abuse to demand loyalty from MPs. I brought that information to her in this House and I warned her at the time that unless real action was taken, we risked repeating those injustices again today. On three occasions, I asked her to act and on three occasions, she did not. So can I ask her, in this of all weeks, for the fourth time, will she finally take concrete action to tackle this? Yeah. <laughs> I will, of course, look back at the questions that the Honourable Lady has said that she raised with me in this House. I assume assumed she raised those with me when I was Home Secretary. We, uh, I will say to her that I am very clear that uh, the Whips Office, I hope this goes for all Whips Offices across this House, should make clear to people that uh, where there are any uh, sexual abuse allegations that could be of a criminal nature that people should go to the police. Yeah. It is not appropriate for those to be dealt with by whips officers. Those should go to the police. That continues to be the case. As I say, I will look at the questions that she raised uh, with me, but I'm very clear that we will take action against uh, those where there are allegations that we see and the evidence is there that there has been misconduct. But can I just say to the Honourable Lady, I hope we will all send a message from this House today that we want people in this place to be able to feel confident to bring forward cases and we need to ensure we need to ensure that those cases no we need to ensure that those cases are dealt with in a way that people can have confidence on both sides that they will be properly investigated. That means, and I want to see, a good process within this Parliament so that people feel they do not have to go to a party political process in order to have their allegations considered. <laughs>